Good evening. Today I will show you, how to make a motion graphic template in After Effects, and use it in Premiere Pro. We will make it step by step. We're going to do control settings, we're going to enter all the settings we want, like colors, shadows, position, and more, then how to import them into the Essentials graphic panel, how to change the values, and export it to motion graphic files. Let's get started. After we've done the lower thirds, put in each layer fill, and in some layer drop shadow. We're ready to do the control settings. We go, and we make a new adjustment layer. Click Enter, give a name. We go to the effects and presets, and we write Transform. We select it, and we drag it over the adjustment layer. Now we make a null object. Click Enter, give a name. Here we're going to put all the settings we want. First of all we're going to put colors. For each layer a different color. We right click expression control. And color control. Click enter. Give a name. And we double it as many layers. Select the eyedropper tool. And put exactly the colors that each layer has. Now we will set the shadow settings. Right click. Expression Control and Slider Control Press Enter and change the name to Logo Shadow and in the value we put the value of the logo of the drop shadow Press Control D and change the name to Line Shadow We click again Right click Expression Control and Slider Control and here we'll set the line thickness Again Right click Expression Control and Slider Control and we'll set the scale and opacity In Scale and in opacity we'll set the value to 100. Now it's left to set the position again. Right click, expression control, and this time point control. Here the values we're going to give are 960 and 540. Finally we will put checkbox control, so we have the option to activate or deactivate the logo. Now select all layers and press E to display the effects. Click on box 1. Open fill, and in color we press Alt and click, grab the pick whip, and drag it to color 1. We'll do the same for all the colors, now we'll check if they all work. Now, we'll go to the shadows, click on logo 2. Open the drop shadow, and in opacity press alt, and click, grab the pick whip, and drag it to the logo shadow. We're going to do the same thing with logo 1, now click on line, press E, to display the effects, and open drop shadow 1, and 2, and in opacity, press alt, and click, grab the pick whip, and drag it to line shadow. Now click on line thickness, open line, click on settings, stroke, and stroke width. Press alt, and click, grab the pick whip, and drag it to line stroke. Now go to transform, and in effects and transform. Select scale we press alt and click, grab the pick whip and drag it to scale. The same will be done in opacity and position. And we select the logos we press T to display the opacity. We press logo 1, we press alt and click. And write. If, we open a parenthesis, grab the pick whip, and drag it to checkbox. We delete the parenthesis at the end. We write equal, equal, 1 we tilt the parenthesis. We open angels, and tilt and in the middle we put a value of 100 else we open angels and click and in the middle we put a value of 0 and put a question mark we will do the same for logo 2 
Now we go to enter these settings. In the essential graphic panel, first we give a name and click solo supported properties. To open the settings in the control, we add group and we call it colors. Grab and drag to the essential graphic each slider of each color and we give a name. Now we make a new group and name it Shadow. In exactly the same way, we enter our data. And in a last group we put the rest of the settings. Finally we have to enter the title. We click on the text layer, and grab the source text, and drag it to the essential graphic. And in the properties we click on the three options to have a full selection of fonts. Finally, I'll show you how to change the values, for each one separately. For example we go to the shadows, and in the logo shadows, if we click edit range, we can change the values, where to start, and where to stop. We can do that, in all the settings individually. Let's go to do another one. We'll select line stroke, and we'll set it to start at 15%, and go to 30%. Finally, we're going to save our work. It's time to export as motion graphic files. Click on Export Motion Graphic Template. Select where we want to save it. And click OK. Now we go to Premiere Pro, in the Essentials Graphic Panel. And down at the bottom we click, the icon Install Motion Graphic Template. Select it, and click OK. We grab it, and drag it to the timeline. If we click, above will open the Edit tab, and we can change any settings we want. Thanks for watching the video, if you like it, please subscribe to my channel, bye.